over 100 million granted to over 1,000 nonprofit organizations. Over 350 funds created, supporting countless causes. An endowment of more than 180 million, created by the members of this community. Connecting people who care with causes that matter. The Victoria Foundation. The Victoria Foundation is the second oldest foundation in Canada and it was formed by an act of legislature but it has a very, very humble beginning. It started out in Victoria's only soup kitchen at the time called the Sunshine Inn and the initial gift was $20. But when you consider the time in 1936, that was considered a very, very generous donation. And over time, the foundation grew very slowly through the depression in the 30s, through the war years. And it wasn't until 1993 that they received their first gift of a million dollars. The foundation listens like no other organization I've ever been involved with. They truly listen to the donors and they listen to the, the community. We work with individuals who want to provide financial support in the, in the community to causes that are important to them. And in turn, we work with the organizations that are means to do that. They're the organizations that are finding the cure for diseases, they're supporting the environment, they're performing in the arts, they're doing all the things that improve the quality of life in our community. And through our donors providing that financial support, we're giving that through these wonderful grants to organizations which are going to go out and do that good work. One of the things that really strikes me about the Victoria Foundation is that it is a family that is community-centered. What this foundation has been able to do is support the issues of what's happening to Aboriginal families. They helped us manage our endowment and they continue to support our capacity building as we grow. They care about people and they care about our community and making it a better place and they're not just about short-term projects and band-aid solutions. They're about working towards sustainable change. The foundation convenes meetings, it convenes relationships, it makes sure that we are aware of cross-sectoral initiatives, and that's quite different. And it makes our work that much easier when we're looking for partners and for innovative funding. The Victoria Foundation was recognized the importance of protecting our environment long before it became a buzzword in this region. And they really helped organizations like Habitat Acquisition Trust and others develop that community support and the capacity to deliver the programs that help people protect nature in their own backyard. The Victoria Foundation is there and it's there year in and year out. And when times are tight especially, um, or projecting into the future what the needs might be and what other sources of funding might be, uh, Victoria Foundation is really bedrock um, for our community. And I think the Victoria Foundation does an outstanding job of connecting people who care about the arts to the arts that they care about. The biggest part of the growth has really happened in the last decade, where it has gone from roughly $20 million to $180 million. And a significant catalyst for change was the introduction of a program called Vital Signs. That Vital Signs report is a natural extension of, of our focus on our communities. It expresses whether some of the work we're doing and other uh, charitable uh, uh, entities are, are uh, being successful. The Vital Signs publication provided us with the guidelines and the direction that we needed to achieve what we had set out to do. It's an incredible document. It has so much research in there and information that it really provided us with a template for where we wanted to go and for 
um, a template for how to expand our giving in the future. The Victoria Foundation, with its endowment of approximately $180 million, has a very profound and positive impact on the community. Uh, my sense is that they've got their finger on the community pulse, and because they're obviously a locally based organization, they can redirect uh, substantial assistance in those areas that uh, you know, need it most, and they may change from time to time. We do have such a strong community here in Victoria, and um, youth and philanthropy and the Victoria Foundation really, really bring out that sense of community. Being youth and philanthropy, I now understand the importance of giving to your community. And uh, when I'm 75, I'll still be giving, and you can count on it. I think the Victoria Foundation isn't just about today, it is about our future. And many of our donors talk about that legacy that they're leaving, the organizations that they cherish. They're also thinking of their children and their grandchildren as well, so that they've left a footprint to say family philanthropy is important, that wherever you are, that you take a look out at your community and say, can I make a difference?